गुड मॉर्निंग जियर फ्रेंड्स एक्चुअली वन एव आई हैव टॉक्ड विथ सम ऑफ माई स्टूडेंट्स ओल्ड एंड न्यू दे हैव टोल्ड मी फॉर सो मेनी डिफरेंट ऑकेजन्स दैट दे हैव ट्राइड देयर बेस्ट स्टिल दे फेल्ड टू एक्चुअली ग्रैब इंग्लिश ग्रामर it's a feelings because uh, it's such a vast subject that you can't say that i would grab everything i've learned everything in english grammar so most of the time i have found my students they are suffering specifically the students of the competitive exam those who are uh, quite matured every time they fail that they had so many things to learn but they failed to do so they always ask me so is there any way with which we can grab english grammar very easily yes dear friends probably this is a very simple experience with most of you so the question arises now have you ever really tried to grab english grammar properly and if you have tried are you successful or you have failed please uh, write it down in the comment section below share your experience so that you would know would also know how it reflects when you try and fail or when you try and succeed actually english grammar is very easy you have to follow some steps and you would get english grammar the easiest things in the world yes dear friends i'm quite sure that's why here i'm going to present five different steps and these five different steps will help you simply learn english grammar and produce sentences in english very easily you can grab english language and it's a grammar only by following these five steps so these are very essential stick glued to the video till the end because these are some very helpful information a great approach to learn english grammar so let's begin so here we are in shiksha mantra with what yes dear friends here we are with five mantras and these five mantras are very much effective to learn english grammar so these are actually five steps that you'd have to take to reach your goal that is to learn english grammar very easily to have a very tight grip over english grammar so how does it begin yes dear friends this is a sentence so read the sentence first buffalo 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 so if you consider this sentence this is the notorious buffalo sentence and just search for it in the internet and you would find its meaning so i'm not going after the meaning but the fact that you have to get that when you want to grab this sentence grab the meaning of this sentence it totally depends on how sound is your knowledge of parts of speech yes dear friends it's all about parts of speech there goes the parts of speech which carries the sentence and its sense so our first point is here it is learn the parts of speech yes dear friends learning parts of speech is our first step without learning parts of speech properly it's very difficult to get to the details of english grammar because every single word belongs to a sentence and it has a particular function to perform so these words where do we use them we use them in a sentence now and what's a language about a language is nothing but a collection of sentences 
expressions rather we'd say it's better to say expression and uh, these expressions are actually made with some words and these words are used in a sentence with a particular function they have a particular role to play and these words are called the parts of speech so to express properly yourself in a language particularly in english you must have a sound knowledge of parts of speech so without a sound knowledge of parts of speech it's very difficult to get to the detail of english grammar so this is our first step that is learn the parts of speech so how many types of parts of speeches are there they are actually eight different groups of words if we consider them they are groups of words and you know uh, what they are they are noun pronoun verb adjective adverbs prepositions conjunctions and interjections so you'd have to learn the details of these parts of speeches you must have a sound knowledge of parts of speech that's your first step that's your first activity and then there's another sentence lizards skit like quick beige sticks lizards skit like quick beige sticks now if you follow quick beige sticks so this is a unit it's a unit unit of what unit of words yes dear friends this is a very famous sentence by richard beard and you must have a detail knowledge of something else to get to its meaning so let's check out that would be our second think about the excellence of the sentences yes dear friends a sentence is excellence excellent in which sense if we uh, produce uh, the last uh, slide actually you'd find here lizard skit like quick beige sticks a sentence is excellence in what in your way of expression how you express it so expression is the most important factor and to express properly what you have in your heart what goes on in your mind so this expression needs what this expression needs an excellent sentence excellent means excellent doesn't mean which uh, very uh, rich vocabulary with huge constructions complex and compound sentences rather it's very simple what properly express what's going on within you so a proper ex expression the sentence which produces a proper expression that is an excellent sentence so you must find out the excellency of a sentence so this is your second step of learning english grammar so how could you get the excellence of the sentence yes dear friends now we will discuss about it parts of speech you have already learned it but parts of speech they are not enough to learn english grammar there is something else when the magic happens magic in what magic in production of a sentence when we start organize parts of speeches in a sentence that's the magic there we create something so what we do we organize some parts of speech into a sentence and we complete our expression so uh, here we we must learn a lot about sentences only parts of speeches don't work first you have learned parts of speech then you have to learn sentences so sometimes it may appear that it's a huge effort but believe me dear friends it doesn't need much effort it's very simple simple in what simple uh, that you just can't imagine how simple it can be so let's uh, show you something with which you'd get what simple it's to learn the excellence of a sentence what we get in a sentence in a sentence we get a head and a body just like our body what's there in a human body there's the head and the torso so head provides what head provides everything so in a sentence also in an english sentence you'd get a subject and a verb so the subject is the head and verb is the torso so in a sentence you get the subject part and the predicate part so what happens with the subject part it provides you the person or the thing which accepts the action 
and the verb means it produces the action itself so to produce a sentence to produce an excellent sentence in english what do you need you need nothing but a subject and a verb that's it that's how you can learn the excellence of english sentence only by getting the subject and the verb so how it works basically actually uh, if we consider this uh, all sentences boil down to this let's check how it works yes this is the construction i was talking about it's someone or something being or doing something so that is the basic construction if you remember this you are going to produce english sentences just like anything it's very easy just remember you have to put someone or something and with this you have to tell what that someone or something is being or doing so someone being or doing something being or doing so that's how goes a sentence that's how we produce a sentence so this is an example priti drove this is a complete sentence yes dear friends priti that is the someone doing what drove that is driving so here what we get here we get a subject and a verb now this verb part is considered predicate so with a subject and a verb by using two words only we can produce an excellent sentence because what i mean here my expression is i'm uh, actually uh, delivering this fact that there's some uh, girl prithi uh, whom i have uh, found drove uh, driving so now i'm trying to express this so i have to use prithi drove that's sufficient that's also an excellent sentence yes dear friends a successful communication is the definition of an excellent sentence your communication must be successful excellent means this only uh, to some other videos would talk about excellence or uh, probably it would be a live so uh, you'd get the notification letter but now consider what we have to do here so we have already crossed two steps and now the third one that is learn phrases how important it is in english grammar you just can't imagine how important phrases are in english languages actually uh, it's just like uh, you have learned walking you have uh, uh, observing a child who is learning to walk first it crawls that is parts of speech then somehow it stands that is learn the excellence of a sentence now it had started toddling it has started uh, having steps one after another that is learn phrases so learn phrase and you'd start your progress so without learning phrases properly your progress in english grammar would be hindered so that's our third step so from uh, here actually uh, from a uh, the phrases the things will start getting fun how we uh, discuss about it phrases will be formed with your firm knowledge of parts of speech and your ability to construct sentences so these two the two steps we have already crossed they would together work to give you a mastery over the phrases so these are but what are phrases these are just a combination of different words and they work as a unit rather you may say they are groups of words used as a single parts of speech so that's how phrases are connected to parts of speech they are single words used as single identity use a single part as a single parts of speech but they are a group of words so you'll find that a single parts of speech in a phrase whenever it's used in a sentence we don't consider it as some words rather we'd consider it is as a unit as a single parts of speech so let's have a sentence and find out how it looks okay so there's the sentence what nurin must have jumped from the tree yes that's it now i would show you how i have coined this one nurin this is the subject then comes the verb must have jumped 
subject and then comes the verb must have jumped now i'm adding a phrase with it from the tree so narin must have jumped from the tree so actually here from the tree this is one phrase and must have jumped this is another phrase actually this is the verb must have jumped so together they are used as a single identity they are used as a unit they are used as a single part of speech that's a verb so that's how phrase helps in your learning of english grammar next point is learn clauses yes dear friends when you have walked so far when you have learned phrases now it's time for the clauses and the last three steps would help you to get to the clauses because you have already learned it we have already discussed point by point that parts of speech that is equal to phrases and now phrases would lead into clauses so we need to learn clauses now to make sentences longer how it is there also the clauses are also groups of words but there you'd find what you'd find a finite verb and a subject that you uh, won't find in a phrase in a phrase you don't get a finite verb or a subject but in a clause you'd get a finite verb and a subject so actually they are also what they are also a sentence within a sentence they are categorized into two different uh, parts like some of them they stand alone that is called the independent clauses while the others they cannot stand alone and they are called the dependent clauses so these clauses are also just like phrases used as a single part of speech yes dear friends a full sentence used as a single part of speech so they are just like the phrases they have the similarity with the phrases and with the parts of speech but where lies the difference the difference is there when we talk of a clause it produces a complete sentence with a subject and a finite verb it's also a group of words when we speak of phrases what happens they are also group of words but there you won't find any subject or a finite verb so they are not sentences and in a parts of speech you'd get a single word so that's how they actually work now if we consider how to uh, get those clauses this is the structure that's how they got a uh, connection subject and verb independent clause and with this gets connected another subject and verb that is dependent clause so one independent clause is connected with a dependent clause and we produce a sentence obviously this time the sentence would be what complex sentence and if it's uh, all the independent clauses together it would be compound sentences so from a simple parts of speech we can proceed further into a sentence a basic sentence with a subject and a verb then we can produce uh, a sentence by adding some phrases a longer one then we can produce a complex sentence a more uh, organized one by having our knowledge of an amalgamation of parts of speech phrases and clauses how it works would we'll show you uh, at last but uh, for this you would have to wait a bit and we have already produced it in our last video you can check it the link would be there on the i button above and there you'd get how we use words of speech phrases and clauses together to get to what to get to a very organized sentence but here our fifth step this is actually the most important one here your learning would get tested you must use sentence diagrams so what are sentence diagrams we have already shown it just check it out and you would get if you want to get that mastery over english sentence and their grammar you have to learn sentence diagramming suppose i have taught you uh, the different colors i have shown you this is red this is black this is white this is green and then i have given you a complete painting and now i am asked you uh, i have asked what the colors used here show me the colors now you would show me the colors one by one here green is used for the leaves 
here uh, brown is used for the soil here uh, yellow is used uh, uh, for the thatching so you uh, actually uh, show me different colors used in different places so this is what we consider sentence diagramming sentence diagramming is also just like this i have given you a sentence now you have to break it and show me what components are used here so this is uh, an example from where you'd get the idea how it works priti drove so this is that very basic sentence with a subject and a verb now i'm extending it smiling with delight priti drove happily over the river and through the woods so that's how a basic sentence is added with phrases and clauses and finally we get a organized one a very organized sentence an organized sentence is produced by a perfect amalgamation of parts of speech phrases and clauses so here you have produced a sentence and now i am asking you to diagram this sentence that is to find out the different components from this sentence so this is what we have uh, started with prati drove that was the basic sentence and now we get this one the basic one prati drove so with this we have added what smiling what sort of smiling smiling with delight so smiling it has been connected with preposition with and then delight so smiling with delight that's a phrase that goes before the subject okay then drove how happily that's an adverb so we have added this adverb with the verb so happily here means drove then comes what there are two different phrases over the river through the woods and they are again connected with a conjunction and so finally we have found out all the components that those have been amalgamated together to form this sentence and this is how by following these five steps we can learn english grammar so what are they the first is learn the parts of speech the second is think about the excellence of the sentences the third is learn phrases the fourth is learn clauses and the fifth is use sentence diagrams yes dear friends the end is not the end remember this phrase well we just have ended this presentation but we are returning very soon with some others that would help you a lot but to get those details of english grammar of learning and education you must like and subscribe this channel with bell notification so that you get the notification every time we produce some excellent video of uh, learning and education so stay glued to this channel stay with us support us we are returning very soon with a press video until then bye bye